Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to have a look at the invert and the row black white point modules. These two modules are the last ones in the basic group. We've already discussed all the other ones and you can find the relevant videos in the Dark Table from A to Z playlist. The invert module allows you to invert the colors on scanned negatives. First, full disclosure, this is not a properly scanned negative. This is just a normal photo that I inverted in GIMP. However, for our purposes and just to illustrate how to use the invert module, it will do just fine. Let's enable the module and see what happens. Ta-da! You can adjust the colors of the photo by changing the color of the film material. You can either do that by clicking on the color and then choosing a color. You can add custom ones as well. I'll select the color just for illustration purposes. Let's go back to white. Or you can use the pipette here and select a color from your image. And that's it. The raw black and white point module is automatically activated on raw images that require it. You cannot disable it, but you can adjust the settings if needed. Just like most of the automatically activated modules, you will probably never ever need to change any of those settings. But it's good to know that they're there and it's nice to understand what it's doing just in case you need it. So we have five sliders. The black sliders go from level zero to level three and they correspond to the RGGB buyer pattern of the um, camera sensor. If you would like to get more information about what the RGGB buyer pattern um, refers to, refer to our DeMosaic uh, video. We discussed that a little bit more uh, in depth then. So pixels with values less than what we've set up here on these black level sliders will be considered to have no valid data in them. While for the white point, pixels that have values above this value will be considered as overexposed. And pixels that have exactly this value will be complete white. The difference between the black and the white is that there is a different black slider for the each of the RGGB channels, while the white point applies to all of them. All the pixels with values above this one will have to be reconstructed using the color or highlight reconstruction methods that we discussed in the previous video. As I've already mentioned, these values are automatically filled in for you based on the camera and model that you've used to make the photo. And this is based on information that the developers have about the sensor and its technical uh, capabilities. You do not have to change them unless you're using some unsupported camera. So that's it for this time. Short and sweet. Remember, invert you'd only need if you're, you're working on a scanned negative film. And the other one is automatically set for you and automatically enabled. You only need to know that it's there in case you're ever using an unsupported camera and you want to fix the values. Now, next time, I think we're going to go through a, an example. I'm going to pick a photo and we'll try to edit that photo and do all the post-processing using only the basic group and all the modules that we've discussed until now. I hope that you found this video informative and entertaining. If you have any questions, corrections, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.